You know, it's interesting, and it really couldn't be more timely. I have an associate of mine that is connected with LBN, Local Business Network, uh, and they're in the Midwest. And uh, we were doing a coaching call last week, and he said, I can't wait to get back to do one-on-ones, right? For exactly what you said. Can't wait to get back to do one-on-ones. And I said, okay, well, that, that's good. I think everybody's pretty excited about the socialization part of it. And I said, let me ask you a question. So what, when you go on a one-on-one, what do you do? What, I mean, what is, your, what is your focus? What do you want to come in the end? He goes, well, we want to get together and learn about one another. And I was like, okay, well, that's cool. I guess that, that makes sense. I said, well, when you did one-on-ones in the past, I go, how'd that work out for you? Did you get a lot of sales from it? And he was like, no, not really. Because if your goal is get to know each other better, I guarantee you'll get to know each other better. You may not make any more sales, right? You, that's why you've got to have a purpose, you've got to have a focus, you've got to have a plan. Uh, that being said, so I'm going to jump right into risk, and I'm glad that I had a couple minutes uh, because there was a couple aspects of risk that I thought was going to have to get pushed on the next session. What I want to start with, by the way, and again, we live in a world where now just going outside is filled with risks, perceived or otherwise. So risk, like almost anything, has a variety of aspects. It has kind of a continuum that it goes across. We call that the risk line. And for our purposes, we're going to just use that risk line right there. Now, it starts on the far end of the line with what we call immovable. Okay? Immovable. There are some people that are immovable to risk. We call them risk avoidance. And when you're a risk avoidant person, everything looks like a risk. That's the person that won't invest in the stock market. That's the person that not only when they go out now in Pandemicville, they wear a mask and a face shield. I saw a guy with a Darth Vader actual hood uh, in a grocery store recently. These are the people that when you tell them six feet away, they want you to be 26 feet away. Now, I'm not saying don't be prudent. I'm not saying don't be practical. But there is a practical reality to the fact that life in general is a risky proposition, right? We frequently say, can't change yesterday, no guarantee of a tomorrow. The only thing we can influence is today. So we have immovable on one side of the risk tolerance line. The next thing we have, the far end, is what we call frivolous. Frivolous is somebody who may... Uh, participate in, in dangerous activities, but not like extreme athletes. These are people who just do stupid things, right? They're, they're unprepared. They do things that are dangerous, whether it's drugs, alcohol, you get to pick. All right, so you've got these two continuums, immovable on one side, frivolous on the other side. And what we find is most people do not actually fall on the far ends of the scale. The vast majority are going to be the ones that we're primarily going to focus in here in the, in the middle because that's where the real value is, all right? First item is what we call cautious. Cautious, right? And that's obviously moving towards this side of it. So if you go from immovable, right, you don't want to do necessarily anything. The next step is cautious, right? Wear a mask when you go out. Try to be six feet away, right? Uh, try to not get involved with risky investments. But there, there's kind of an adjunct that goes along with this because as you move from one end of the scale to the other end of the scale, there are some very enticing aspects that really kind of get your attention. For example, we actually call it a growth curve. All right, now I'm just going to make a very small one. Even though each time we go, this is actually going to be higher. So the one from here to here is going to be a little higher. And the one from here to here is going to be a little bit higher as well. And that line we call the growth curve. So if you think of it as being a line that's actually going up and up and up and up, that's your growth curve. Right? That's, that's how you get opportunities. So the reality is, is that a successful life falls somewhere between immovable and frivolous.